Oh yeah, I'm excited. And here we go, going into game one on Small Battlefield, the new like generation of PS2. Yes, the, the new generation of PS2 for sure. Some people, I mean, I love Small Battlefield, I love PS2. It is funny how similar they are and how they just sort of replace each other in a lot of people's minds. And we've already got the drill chains. Dude, that is such a horrifying option, especially when you can connect it into rest. So mm -hmm. good quick damage, but you know what? You can hold it on right now. Love that quick little back air. It's such a great option to call out some of Gary's movement that he's going to want to employ with a buff. Absolutely. And uh, honestly, Gary not doing too bad here. Get, has the lead right now. Uh, just honestly, not a whole lot of banana play. We've seen a lot of just Diddy using the bigger hitboxes, like forward air, landing nares, which I really like. Stuffing Puff out in the air is a really good way to deal with her lack of range. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I think going for a tech chase rest there. Ooh, almost getting the uh, that grab or the ledge grab into the back air. Yeah, almost got it, and there was that situation that we were talking about with Puff floatiness getting her out of what is normally a down tilt up smash confirm. Um, I love the fact that Gary's also going for the sing at ledge every now and again, just to see if you can yeah. get a little antsy to get that down tilt clap, you know? Yeah, great call on that because, you know, Diddy's are definitely, uh, you know, want to do that. Um, oh, Ooh. we got a pop shield. No Hezzy either. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. See you later. Have a wonderful holiday. <laughs> And just like that, Yuka takes the lead. Ooh, with the banana in hand. This is... All right, all right. Doesn't quite get the the reset, but still going here. There's that forward throw that you were talking about earlier. Oh, and an SD from Gary. Unfortunate. And this has gotten ugly fast. I'm confused. Is Gary the puff or the Diddy Kong? I thought he was the puff. Ooh, I, th I thought that Yuka was the puff, but... I, I mean, I could definitely be wrong. <laughs> I, I thought that Yukid was the puff, but maybe I am incorrect. Everyone's correct. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right, As so we are. Yukid, you know, coming through with the Diddy call. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, mean, regardless of who is who, this puff is doing well right now. Yep, love to see the uh, drills coming on through and just opening them up Ooh. inside of, oh my god. Oh, I thought we were getting rest, but went for some sauce instead. Wow, look at this. And now, with the lead, it's hard. Diddy can't really... I feel like uh, the Diddy is sort of... I mean, the confidence is definitely shook a little bit here. Mm -hmm. uh, gets that landing there, though. All right, monkey flip to try to get a call out on that uh, that spacing. But you know what? The Nair coming on through in that, in that scenario. I like the throwing of the banana upwards to try and catch a high recovery and then going low. It's yeah. a really great setup. It, uh, Diddy has the recovery options to avoid it, but... Okay, so UK is Puff. All right, Gary yes. is the Diddy. You were you were right. Look at that. I should never doubt you. <laughs> we should ne listen. Commentators, we always believe each other, no matter what. True. Um. Ooh. Anyways, isn't it crazy that Diddy is Jigglypuff's uncle? <laughs> so true. Yeah. Pretty crazy. <laughs> uh, Back okay. throw gets right. the kill. That'll do it. That'll do it. Uh, One thirty-seven percent. I mean, it's this not. Is this Over. is doable, but it's yeah. scary. It's definitely scary, especially so. so oh, oh my! Especially God. if you get drilled. <laughs> Yo, I've never seen that specific <laughs> confirm. I've seen drill up tilt. I haven't seen like the weird first two hits of drill into just covering with the up tilt. Really great stuff. They kind of nice with it. You they, know? they are kind of oh, nice with it. it. I'll give it up. <laughs> I like the puff play, and you know, I think the Diddy. Uh, Gary definitely could have done it there. I mean, we saw the game start out in his favor yeah. for the good first minute and a half, but. Puff really just steamrolled a little bit there. I mean, it, all of a sudden, it switched tempo once we saw that shield break. Yes. And then from there, we just saw consistent drills into more and more damage. Of course, the up tilt kill at the end. Yes. And it just felt like at all times, you know, he was right on top of it. Yep. Had an, had an option for everything. And now we're going to PS2, a vastly different stage from Small Battlefield, as we were discussing earlier. Um, so we'll see what happens here. Monkey flipping in. And definitely trying to sort of retreat and play out of the corner this game a little bit, I'd say Gary is, to try and avoid the stubby range of Jigglypuff. But you know that aerial drift, Puff is able to just get in there. Oh yeah, ooh, love that Nair looking for the tech in there. That would have mm -hmm. been a kill too. Yeah, getting that up air rest would have been crucial, but uh, very even so far right now. Definitely not anyone's game just yet. Ooh, Puff with the banana is scary. Yeah, if it lands, you know what? Might be getting a sing into rest, who knows? But uh, wow, the oh, barrel's wow. clipping okay. him a little. Look at that, yeah. Great stuff from the barrels. Tries to call out uh, with an F smash there, but um, Gary able to avoid it. Now, now though, Gary with control. Finds the banana. 
Hold up, Ollie. Can he get it? Oh, and he got to confirm. Look at that. Beautiful really job. good stuff from Gary. It's we that saw clap top smash. Mm -hmm. You know, you, earlier we were talking about uh, the puff falling out, and we saw it happen once, but that time Diddy was able to get out and then dies, unfortunately. He, he's going to be falling out of the recovery a little too early to make yeah. it back, but it don't matter. Nice and even gets the grab. I love that. Trying to look for a, a DI Ooh. or air dodge in. Still catching him. Not locking him at ledge, but you know what? Gary Those gets drills. up through just to get caught up again. Those drills are brutal. Especially with the amount of drift you can have. Oh, goes for the double jump after the soft fair. Oh, what a, what a critical shield by Gary there. For real. Now, though, you could playing a little patient in this neutral. Just trying to wait and see when Gary will commit. Gets caught by the banana. You know what? I mentioned banana wasn't going to be that good overall, at least in my mind. But mm -hmm. it's come into play a lot more often than I expected. Yeah, especially in this game too. I feel like that's a bit of an adjustment maybe that Gary's played. I mean, game one he was using it too, but I feel like it's been more effective this yeah. game. Maybe just putting it in more landing spots has mm -hmm. been kind of the idea. Yeah, I, I think that's a great call out. Definitely using it to sort of catch where Puff wants to land. And at that percent, I mean, this is sort of the flip side of what we were talking about. Puff is going to die earlier to those kinds of confirms. So uh, Gary with a slight lead here. All right, gets the dash attack, unable to get too much more after that, but don't matter. Ooh. Look at this, 29% and uh, still just holding on to the stock yeah. here for Gary. And look at that, just dancing outside of the range, tries to get that tech roll in, which, you, which you've called out a couple of times, but doesn't quite get it this time. Ooh. I like how Gary was pulling the trigger on that Nair a little bit early mm -hmm. in hopes that Yukit would jump into it and get the confirm off of it, but you know what? Yukit firing right back, gets the back here, and now we're on to even stocks, but some decent amount of extra credit here making the teacher happy. Yeah, absolutely. I gotta be happy right now. 60% and we've seen, I mean, what, what was that second stock? A down tilt at like 90 something leading oh, yeah. into a kill? So, Puff be a little light. <laughs> Puff be a little light for sure. Ooh. Really trying to get those down airs. Those Jigglypuff down airs are so scary with how she can <gasps> drift. Oh no! Dude, I saw the pound oh and all God. I could think is Hungry Box. It's his, that's the bread and butter of Puff, baby. That's the H God. Hit the, hit the pound. Pop him on that platform. Mm -hmm. Now, what are you going to tech option? Don't matter. Don't that platform, <laughs> don't matter. just small enough to where you pop that thing and you get it. Mm -hmm. Yukit, clutching wow. up. Incredibly cut clutch play from Yukit. Gary was looking really solid for, I mean, I mean, it was close, but I really felt Gary was looking poised to take it to a game three, but hey, that's the puff factor, right? Absolutely. Look at that Nair to come through and then just calls out the monkey flip. Yep, yep. you don't begin to do that for free. And uh, right here, Love to see how this play was done. Ooh. Gets the pound, and look at that. The sing would have covered everything, just, except for maybe get up attack. Might have been uh, able to get through, but. That's just good gameplay right there, and you called it out exactly correctly. Like, just beautiful spacing on that. And it's, it's doubly unfortunate because it's not even like Gary jumped or anything. He yep. was going for a down tilt, and still that pound hitbox so big. Dude, and so long lasting, it's, too. Yes, I agree. Crazy stuff. Really great showing from Yukit. I love watching some good puff play. Um, it was just overall, we saw Yukit have this very strong awareness of their character and their options from moment to moment. Whether it was that dare to up tilt, which yes. I, as you said as well, <laughs> never seen <laughs> never before seen in my before. life. Yeah. Um, or was that pound into immediate recognition of this is one of those stages where if I get just enough air drift on this thing, I'm covering every tech option. Yeah. Absolutely. I think that's, that's uh, I guess, kind of the theme of that set, right? Like, as you just said, you know, Yukit was a little bit more aware of these specific interactions, whereas Gary was going for the standard Diddy stuff, but these specific interactions, Yukit jumped on so fast. Um, so, really great stuff.